hope nobody's looking in the window. Here, come on, like this. Here you go. Put your feet by my feet. Come on. Let's go. Here. By my feet, not on my feet. Oh, thanks very much. Dude. Sorry, Vincent. A minor oversight there. Okay, all right, grab my hand. Come on. Yeah. Ah, ah, ease up, ease up, tiny bit. Let the blood flow through the fingers. Oh, like loose. <laughs> See, come on, that's a relax. I'm just nervous. Right. Okay, one, two, three. 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 Don't, one, don't, two, no, no. Look, see what you're one, doing with two, your teeth three. there, Jules? Yeah. You're grinding them. One, two, don't grind your okay. teeth, then. Don't burn your teeth. Look, 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 look. Relax your jaw. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's okay. it. But now, now try to count without moving your lips. All right? One, two, three. One, two, three. See? One, two, three. Right? So you're not rustling a boar 300 miles south, southwest of Fiji. Everyone, this is Pico Entertainment and we're back again and here now we have another video for you and we're going to take a look back on one of the great entertaining comedies of the 1980s and that is Twins. Released on December the 9th 1998, it stars Arnold Schwarzenegger, Danny DeVito, Chloe Webb, Kelly Preston and it was directed by Ivan Reitman. Now the story of Twins is that we follow a group of scientists who carry out an experiment to create the perfect human being by collating the DNA of six different fathers. The result is the birth of two twins who were separated at birth. One twin named Julius is brought up on an island, educated and physically developed. He learns of his identity and his twin brother and ventures out to find it. The twin brother, who is named Vincent, was placed in an orphanage and grows up within Los Angeles to become a small time criminal. And the story follows the two brothers coming together and adjusting their distinctively different personalities. They then set out to find out their biological mother who was told that she only had one son who died at birth. Now when looking back at Twins, it was one of those films that is just so watchable and entertaining all the way through. It's a film that I have fond memories of so much when watching it multiple times when growing up. And yes, it's that classic odd couple dynamic that was such a staple of all of those great comedies of the 80s, where the humour was generated far more from the characters' nature and behaviour and their clash of personalities rather than jokes or punchlines. And this is what I believe makes comedies far more appealing and lastable. We've talked so much on this channel about the importance of on-screen chemistry between characters and this form is of course completely carried by the rapport between Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. Their interplay throughout feels so natural without being forced and as a viewer it's sheer delight at the contrast of seeing Judas's more naive positivity with Vince's more harsh cynicism. But both characters remain likeable and the real journey is seeing the initial difference between them both turn into far more genuine affection. Now having established himself as a cinematic action superhero, Schwarzenegger wanted to broaden his range and appeal with audiences by delving into comedy and overall it's a well honed in performance, presenting much more of a childlike innocence within his character and you can see how much he enjoyed this role by not being constrained by the usual stoic action hero stereotype. Now Danny DeVito is equally as great playing a role that he's much more suited for when you see his performances in the past with the likes of Jewel of the Nile and also Risky Business where he plays that far more sarcastic opportunistic scoundrel. And throughout the film we have so many great scenes between these characters where we see the initial meeting between the two within the police station and seeing Vincent's complete disbelief at Julius as he bails him out from the prison. We have of course the famous scene perhaps of the entire movie where Vincent teaches Julius how to dance within a hotel room. I simply love how they deal with the henchmen within the bar after the dance routine with Julius always referring to the rules within the crisis situation. Now all of these scenes are just a reminder of how great the two actors are and famously both of them liked the material so much that they took small upfront salaries and more back end percentage deals in terms of the overall box office. Now whilst both clearly carry this film, the supporting roles contribute as well with both Chloe Webb and the sadly departed Kelly Preston who is absolutely hot and stunning within this film and they both provide fine female support for both the male lead actors. So when we go on to the movie's overall release and it was one of the biggest hits of 1988, grossing over 216.6 million on just a budget of 80 million dollars. And as mentioned before, both Schwarzenegger and DeVito benefited massively financially by being able to receive 40% of the box office grace. 
and the success of Twins continued Schwarzenegger's rise to box office superstardom within the late 80s and early 90s and he would have further success in the comedy genre, reuniting with director Ivan Reckman once again in 1990 with Kindergarten Cop and he would later on team up again with Danny DeVito in 1994 to fire lesser success with Junior. But without question, Twins remains Schwarzenegger's most successful entry into comedy and endearing and endlessly entertaining watch because of the great chemistry between the two lead actors, which is the biggest reason why Twins remains one of the great comedies of the 1980s. So that's my overall thoughts and feelings and review of Twins. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Where do you think it ranks amongst the filmography of Arnold Schwarzenegger and also within the great comedies of the 1980s? Let me know in the comments and if you have any further suggestions regarding any other movies, television series or any other issues or topics within the movie industry and pop culture scene that you'd like to see me cover, then also let me know in the comments and I will see if I can provide further commentary for you on those topics within the future. Please also hit and like the subscription and notification buttons so I can provide you more high quality content like this in the future. But that's it for now, take care of yourselves and I will see you very very soon.